Okay, so today we got the new soda popper. Uh, the new soda popper is part of the new TF2 update, and for those who don't know what the update does, now using soda popper height for one, when your meter builds up as we're about to see, it doesn't automatically activate. So that's a nice little change to the soda popper anyway. Now I would have been happy with that in the first place, but they added something even better. You can now jump in the air five times when you activate the soda popper. So when you activate it, it'll go purple like so. And then you can jump five times in the air. Now, if you can't tell, the jumps are slightly lower than normal. So the jumps aren't as high as usual. So I figured, let's experiment. And then I grabbed the winger. Now, for those who don't know, the winger, while it's equipped, it gives you additional jump height. And it does work in conjunction with the new soda popper, like so. We right click, equip the winger. And there's the extra jump height. So we do go slightly high with the new winger. But I want to take it slightly further than that. So first of all, I'm going to give myself a lot of health. Okay. So I have a whole bunch of health now. Now you don't need a bunch of health to do this, but I'm just going to make it easy for myself. We're going to build up some high, and we're going to <laughs> equip the Boston Basher. Now let's see just how much we can jump scout. So I made it onto that. I made it onto that pole there, onto the platform. So that's nice. So, of course, we can Boston Bash jump up there anyway, I believe. No, not quite. So, I'm going to see just how far, with all this health and this Boston Bash jumping, I can actually take this. So, let's uh, move the platform all the way down. Build up our high. And let's give this a shot. And there we have it, a new jump scout loadout that includes the Soda Papa, the Winger, and the Boston Basher. 